Hey everyone, in this quick video, you'll see how to add videos to your MemberPress courses. Whether you want to produce video lessons for a course, or you just want to embed videos as extra learning material, you can easily do that right on any lesson or quiz. So in this video, I'll show you how. Here on my sample WordPress website, I have MemberPress installed, and a sample online course all built out with MemberPress courses right here. So when building your course lessons and quizzes, you add your actual course material here in the Curriculum tab by just clicking this icon here to edit a lesson or a quiz. And then you're taken to the editor. So you can see here's my lesson so far. But now I want to add a video to the very top of the lesson. So there are quite a few ways that you can embed your videos. Many MemberPress course creators use free video hosting platforms like YouTube. So to achieve this, you would create a free YouTube account and then upload your video file. And once the file is uploaded, you just set the privacy settings to unlisted. Setting a video to unlisted lets anyone with a link watch the video, but the video will not be public on your account or searchable on the YouTube search. So here's a quick look at how to do this. Now, YouTube does seem to change how things look on the platform quite a bit. So by the time you're watching this, the screen could look different for you. But here's the page for a new video that I just uploaded. So here under visibility, you just set it to unlisted and then click to save the video. So now the video won't be listed on your channel publicly and it can't be found in the YouTube search. So only people with a link or people on a page with the video embedded on it can view it. So to use it on your course, you would simply copy the video's URL right here. And then going back to my lesson, right here on the lesson edit page, you could open the block inserter like this and find the YouTube block. Or you can just click here like this and search for YouTube. And then just click on the YouTube block to insert it. And then you would just paste the video URL. And it'll embed the video right here. And then once it's embedded, you have some other options pertaining to the video embed here that you can check out. And that's pretty much it. It's really that simple to get your videos on YouTube and embedded on lessons and quizzes. Also, you can use just about any other video hosting service that you might have and do the same. And some services have WordPress block types that you can use to embed videos as well. So to show you that, opening up the block inserter, if I do a quick search for video. You can see you have some options for Vimeo, which is another popular video hosting service, TikTok, VideoPress, Animoto, Dailymotion, and a few others. And even if there isn't a direct WordPress block type for the service, you can generate an embed code for the video on the platform and then use either the embed block type or custom HTML block type to insert it. So with most video hosting services, you should be able to generate some HTML that will let you embed the video onto a web page. So you just copy that code and then paste it on your page. Some other popular video hosting services that you could consider using are Wistia. Loom is another popular one. You could use Facebook or Meta, Twitch, Sprout Video, just to name a few. So in short, just upload your video to your service, make sure it's not completely public and searchable on the platform, get your link or embed code, and then insert it right on your lessons and quizzes. Another way to embed videos is through a video file. So you can upload the video right on your site using the MemberPress Downloads add-on and embed the video file link on your lessons and your quizzes. Now there is a file size limit on WordPress uploads, which can be pretty small for longer video lessons. So if you have video files beyond the file size limit, you can upload the files to your web host, assuming that you have enough storage space, or you can just use additional services like Amazon Web Services, Google Drive, Dropbox, or any other file hosting service. And then use the video links on your lessons and quizzes. So to give you one example of what this could look like, I have a link copied for a short video that I have uploaded to my WordPress site using the MemberPress Downloads add-on, which you can see here. So back here on my lesson, I would just go to insert a block and then search for video. 
and then insert the video block type. And then I would select insert from URL. And you can see you have some other options to either upload a new video or use your WordPress media library. But since I have that URL, I'll go ahead and paste that video file URL right here and hit enter. And then I'll save the lesson. And then now when I go to preview the lesson, you can see it embeds the video right here. And with MemberPress downloads, you can even apply tags and categories of video files and then use MemberPress rules to protect the videos. So only those with memberships that you choose can access them. So this can give you an added layer of protection for your actual video files outside of protecting your whole courses, individual lessons, etc. And that's it. You've now seen how to embed videos in your MemberPress courses. See our knowledge base articles on MemberPress courses for more tutorials and step-by-step -step guides on using the many powerful features of MemberPress courses. Also, be sure to follow our blog and YouTube channel for all of our latest tips and tricks on all things MemberPress. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.